if you leave, uh, you know, a hectare of agricultural land, just do nothing to it, in 10 or 20 years you have a forest. Our world is undergoing enormous changes and it seems at first glance that while urbanization is increasing, forests are decreasing. However, European forests have a very special situation. What is the state of European forests? Let's find out with Kit Prince, forest policy consultant. The situation for forests in Europe is actually quite stable. They're not disappearing. They haven't been disappearing for a very long time. All countries have strong forest laws and uh, forests in general have a lot of public support. People are very worried if there is a problem. And so I think the main point is that we are in a fairly stable situation, unlike other, other parts of the world. The area of forests has grown by 30% over the last 70 years, with three quarters of a million hectares more forest every year in, in Europe. Uh, that, that is a major change. But how has this been possible? How, despite the growth of our cities, have we managed to keep Europe's forests stable? On the negative side, to reduce forest area, there's been a constant pressure from the expansion of infrastructure and cities and uh, motorways and railways and ski pistes and so on. On the other side, what has been driving the expansion is two things. Some countries, not all, uh, have been have put in place quite major schemes of afforestation and plantation. But probably the most important influence has been the developments for agriculture. Because what we've seen since the Second World War is a, an intensification of agriculture, which has meant that farmers needed less land to produce the same amount of food. Yet new challenges are emerging also for European forests. We are moving towards a society that increasingly needs forests, ranging from health to economic benefits. And of course we need forests because of their role as carbon sinks. It means that they absorb part of our greenhouse gas emissions. So how will these pressures affect the situation of European forests in the coming decades? You have conflicting demands and uh, forests are slow moving ecosystems. They don't change as fast as policies, which leads to a certain amount of tension. And you can't on the same forest area maximize uh, carbon sequestration and wood production and biodiversity conservation. There are trade-offs and uh, they are difficult trade-offs and they need uh, a national dialogue. I don't think people have fully realized the implications for the landscape of the type of forest expansion which would be necessary um, to really make a difference to the, uh, to the carbon sink. Do you want to know more about the state and importance of European forests? Forest Europe has gathered the voice of a wide network of experts on the issue. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn.